Hey, what's up YouTube? So here I've got a red C-mount laser that I recently acquired. Uh, this is a very intriguing laser in terms of its optical properties. And we're going to be going through a quick rundown of how I uh, put this together. It was very easy. And also we're going to be doing some experimentation in terms of magnification and power density. So yeah, this should be uh, pretty cool. So what makes these different than uh, your typical uh, semiconductor laser is that C-mount red lasers have a much larger uh, beam diameter profile. Uh, this one uh, goes from 5 millimeters to 20 millimeters and uh, that can be focused or collimated depending on the adjustable uh, focused uh, mount here. So putting this all together was uh, very easy. The laser came as is with the uh, fan installed. Of course here's the uh, driver which also has TTL uh, transistor to transistor logic but uh, I'm not using that currently. I'm just using the uh, continuous wave function. Uh, other than that, all you had to do was install a uh, power adapter for uh, turning on the device, which is rated at 12 volts at 1.5 amps. And I just got that from my stock. And of course, I uh, have it connected here using a DC-DC uh, uh, jack uh, for the uh, adapter there. So before I go turning on the device here, let me just state the obvious uh, that you should always have laser safety eye, uh, certified uh, laser safety eye protection before you ever start uh, tinkering or experimenting with uh, these types of lasers. So with the 200 milliwatt uh, output power rating alongside of the uh, adjustable max uh, focused uh, point of this uh, device here, I still can't reach the uh, ignition point where I can light matches or do other simple uh, burning tricks with lasers. So in order to uh, modify this laser, I'm going to use an old school trick, and that's to use a magnifying glass to focus the uh, laser into a very tight spot in uh, space and time and uh, this will therefore increase the power density by uh, a few magnitudes so uh, it will be very very powerful uh, in terms of its output power. Performing an experiment like this using this magnifying glass is akin to using the sun as a power source for burning uh, materials on the ground. So here I have the laser uh, device uh, situated uh, in front of this uh, magnifying glass here and I've marked the uh, line on the wood there for the, the best uh, focal length of the uh, output beam. So here I'll take some uh, double-sided plumber tape and stick it in the beam there. See what happens. Oh, look at that. Yeah, but I definitely couldn't do that with the original setup. The material is getting white hot here. Here's some thinner uh, black plastic. piece of cardboard
some matches that I've uh, colored with black uh, ink highlighter. 